<laughs> okay, we are ready. Are we gonna share with us? In this time, difficult times, you know, you heard about this verse, this word that says the difficult times is the best of times by Charles Dickens. So Romans 12, 12 actually teaches how to go through the difficult times, the word of God. So actually, for, for this exhibition, it's based on Romans 12, 12. So I actually put the whole thing into it. So like Romans 12, 12 talks about hope and joy, joy and hope, sorry. So this clown actually, why, okay, why clowns? Okay, firstly, it's like clowns actually in front of everybody, they have been fun, joke. But behind the back, they don't sing so <laughs> You know, like, like we all like, yeah. during the COVID time, a lot of us put happy face, but behind the back, a lot of things are happening. So this is something I felt a part of. Like. And secondly, clowns speaks a lot to me because I grew up in the circus. So, you, oh yes, you did. Yeah, your mother was a performer. Yeah, yeah. so that was the part that resonate with me. So I portray the clowns. And um, that this one is talk, talk about hope. Like for example, he was holding a goose, laid eggs, like, you know, there's a, there's a, I don't know. The golden goose. Yeah, uh, the golden goose. Yes, the story, story, yeah. Although it's an egg, but God teaches us how to see from a different perspective. One egg, if you see it from a different perspective, actually it's multiple chickens inside, right? So when you look at one, although it's one egg, but it's actually multiplication, you can foresee the multiplication. Although it's not happening in the circumstances, but your hope is in the egg that you can see multiplication that give you joy, give you hope. This is one, that's how I portray it. And second one is about patience in tribulations. The daggers actually represents the tribulations. See? So how do we respond? We have to be rest, we have to rest in God. Patience is one of them. That we have to be patient. So this cloud actually sipping coffee, tea. Like sometimes we have to suspend our judgment, suspend our action. Because sometimes we are we, when we are too fast to act, sometimes it's very we can be controversial and things may happen unwantedly. So this is the way that sometimes we need to respond, rest back, and let it happen before go like whatever. Another thing is uh, the part, this part is about prayer, verbal in prayer. So in front this is the front part, this is the back part. The front part is like we are Acting cool, but behind that actually we need God, you know. We need God. Why He is there? Because when we are praying to God, we are actually also a bear, you know. We are bare in front of Him. There's nothing we can hide from Him. Our joy, our tears, all that are bare. So this is the part that I presented. We are bare in front of God, and in the weak time, we are strong in God. So that is the part that I portray. And also the dove, the three doves. That these three doves actually represent the Holy Spirit. That means whichever situation you are, God is with you. You know? So then the, um, this clock, actually the, you know, the darts, throwing darts, the circle board in the circus, I turn it into a clock. That means ta- about timing also. Uh. Then the Romans, so this is a Roman clock, uh, 12. Uh, so both hands are pointing to 12. So it's actually representing Romans 12, 12. <laughs> That is the part that is hidden. A lot of people didn't catch that part. Mm-hmm. So that is the part. This is how I portray it. And uh, this painting took me about three months to paint. It's oil painting. Everything is oil except these two is acrylic. Mm-hmm. So, mm, so because the shiny part I need acrylic, I couldn't use oil to do the shiny part. So this is the whole thing. It's Romans. The whole thing is Romans. So uh, I took three months to paint this. And these three months with another painting, I know you know about it, the other painting, uh, was the most difficult painting I did for eh? this time. And it was so difficult because I was going through a difficult time. I know you know why, right? My mom, my mom's dementia plunge. Mm. And I was like cleaning shit every day on the floor. You know the kind of feeling I have? It's like the kind of difficult times I have to, I'm doing two very difficult paintings. It was so difficult. But every stroke of that, I learned to overcome now. You know, it's like overcoming your own feelings, your own thoughts, in order to execute the painting. So that part was a very big struggle. I'm, a, I'm the only person caregiver at home. There's no other. So it's a, it's like a, it's like going crazy. At that time, I thought I was going crazy. I even involved in social worker to come to the house because it was terrible. The whole situation was so terrible. So that was how this this painting came about. One of them, like, because I did two very different paintings. Then, then I was singing in 
it's kind of sad. I, I like to own it because it was so difficult time that I went through to execute this. So that was the thing about. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.